Hello traders and welcome in a new daily market analysis video brought to you by the market research team at PU Prime. Today is the last day of March and the last day of the first quarter of 2022. Uh, basically, we expect higher than usual volatility. Let's have a look on the economic agenda. What do we have and how could we expect the price action as per the technical analysis? All of this will be discussed in today's video, so please stay tuned. Having a look on the economic agenda, basically we had some positive numbers from the British economy about the GDP for the fourth quarter of 2021. On a yearly basis, basically the uh, GDP exceeded expectations and came around 6.6%, where the expectations were around 6.5%, as well as on a quarterly basis, uh, it, it went well above expectations, which were around 1.0%, uh, and basically we hit 1.3%, which is positive for the British economy. We also had the German unemployment change, which came at around a decline of 18,000 jobs, uh, which is slightly uh, more bearish than expected. Basically, we also have the numbers to watch today. On top of that, we have the initial jobless claims. Uh, this is a weekly number. It is supposed to normally drive higher volatility than, than expected. However, during this week, basically, we don't believe this uh, should have any impact on the markets because we are already looking for the NFB numbers to be announced tomorrow. And we also have the GDP for the Canadian economy month over month for January, which is expected to, ex to expand and come around 0.2%. And this is basically the most important things that we will be watching today on the economic agenda. And let's have a quick look on the charts. Starting with the dollar index, which we mentioned in yesterday's report that basically we have a strong support area around 97.87 or 97.90 roughly. And we mentioned that we will be waiting for a bullish price action from here to go long on the short term. Basically, we didn't yet have the bullish uh, price action. However, on the candle chart, we do have this very great engulfing candlestick it, it's starting to form on the four hour time frame however we still have two and a half hours to go if this candle basically managed to close um in this form as an engulfing bullish candlestick we will be basically long the um, us dollar during the day to target again the levels of 98.56 and as well as 99.20 one more time however on the short time frame we will be waiting for a bullish close this candle to end as a uh, as a um, engulfing candlestick and to create a new higher high which is already in place on the 30 minutes time frame and we will be off to go to the levels of 98 56 roughly on the euro versus the us dollar basically we managed to break above the important resistance levels that we uh, mentioned however we can see on the 30 minutes time frame that the uh, momentum is still bearish so basically i do believe that this break above the resistance levels that we mentioned should be a false breakout and we will be uh, once again falling back to the 1.1050 levels on the short time frame especially that the uh, 30 minutes time frame we managed to break below the upward trend line that we were creating since uh, probably uh, 29th of march for 48 hours so basically, we are bearish on the euro versus the US dollar during the day. Having a look on the pound also, um, it is basically moving in a sideways range. However, it seems to me that maybe we do have uh, a price channel formed here. Pretty much not the best. However, uh, we are still bearish on the pound versus the US dollar. However, the more... A better uh, chart to trade is basically the euro versus the US dollar during the day. We do have the euro versus the pound. And again, I do believe that the break above the resistance levels are basically a false breakout that we will be uh, going below one more time. The key level for me to watch on the euro versus the pound should be the levels of 0 0.8450. Once we manage to break below, uh, basically, this should be a bearish signal on the short and the medium term. 
Thank you so much for watching this video. That was all for today's technical analysis. Please stay tuned for tomorrow's video. We'll give you some insights about the NFP numbers that we should expect. And please stay safe.